There you go, Tunip. Some warm kelp soup should help your Vegema Pox feel better. Looks like we need more soup. We can't keep up with them, Captain. Can't Peso give them some medicine for their Vegema Pox? Peso can't make the medicine until he finds the special ingredient. Peso, come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. There isn't much of it in this part of the ocean. <gasps> Peso, over here! Red algae. This should be just enough for the Vegemol's medicine. Captain, we found some. Excellent work. Now hurry back to the octopod. The Vegemol's are getting a bit, um, restless. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way. Oh! The algae. Excuse me, I... Hey, Nero, this here's my home. I think I dropped something down there. Aye, and that's where it's stayed. No trespassing. Arr! Careful, Peso. That's a moray eel, and they can be very protective of their homes. Captain, we've got a bit of a problem here. The red algae has fallen into a moray eel's lair. Hmm. Hurry back to the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, a bottle of red algae has fallen into the home of a moray eel. We need that algae to make the Vegemol's medicine. Ah, why don't you let me take care of that slippery old eel? I'll give him the old... I don't think that's a good idea, Quasi. Moray eels can be very dangerous, especially when they're defending their home. But maybe there's some way you can lure the eel out of his lair. And while he's chasing after me, Peso can slip inside and get the algae. Uh, but what if the eel comes back before I can find it? Hmm. I've got it. Sea snakes. They can be very poisonous, and even Moray eels know to stay away from them. So all we have to do is find a couple of poisonous sea snakes and ask them nicely to keep their fangs to themselves and help us. Precisely. Count me in. That may be a little difficult. Captain, I have a friend who may be able to help. He's not a poisonous sea snake, is he? Ahem. <laughs> not exactly. According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. <gasps> what is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A banded soul. If you're lucky I spotted it, matey. Banded souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a banded soul? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Inkling? <laughs> he is indeed my friend, but I... No banded soul. <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus, at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... I, I mean, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. <gasps> Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent! Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish! <laughs> oh, oh! It's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. 
for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone, here's the plan. Step one, Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two, Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonauts and Mortimer, let's do this. Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you'd asking for it. Yeah. Okay, so time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. <coughs> It, my lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was it? In here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're staying there if you know it's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Sea snakes! Yes, we are one, two, three sea snakes. Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Um, don't overdo it. Ah, yeah, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. But it's stuck. Oh, no. The eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back. Fast. You've got to get out of there. Now. Almost got it. Yes. Time to skedaddle. Ah, let's pass up. What are you doing in my home? Peso, grab on. Yeah. Nice work in there, Peso. Quasi, mission accomplished. We're on our way to pick you up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain. Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're sea snakes! Yow! Hop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> sea snakes, yo! <laughs> Not bad. Look at this video coming in from Dashy. 
She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, oh, oh. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. Oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gum is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, no! Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh. Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! <laughs> well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time. Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! <laughs> Pound! <laughs> Mix! Quite a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashy, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor. <gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gut, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octogoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashy, you take the sickbay. 
Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! Octonauts, to the kitchen! Jump! Say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the Guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Boys, oh, we've all had quite an adventure. Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys, let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry Thank <laughs> you. 
heading straight for us, Cap. Octonauts, hold on. Something is about to hit us. Dashy. Peso. Shellington. Inkling. Vegemals. Brace yourselves. What? Cap, you hear that? It's coming from outside the octopod. <laughs> <laughs> huh. The screen is blank. We've lost the radar. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Captain, what's going on? The radar isn't working. Tweak, Quasi, let's go outside and work out what's happened. The dish must be broken. I'll have it fixed faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Peso, open the octo hatch. Yes, right away, Captain. The radar dish isn't broken. It's gone. A thief must have stolen it. We have to get it back. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Ah, seaweed! <sighs> yeah. Oh, now I can't see a thing. Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Aye, Captain. Tweak, come with me. We'll search the other side of the octopod. Now, where's that thief? <laughs> My spyglass! Captain, the thief strikes again! <sighs> I've had that spyglass since my pirate days. The thief couldn't have gone far. Aha! A trail! <laughs> Ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky, so we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So, we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the Gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso. Prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Right away, Cap. The trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. That plant just took a walk. Over there. Look! Follow that plant! He's got my spyglass! Up ahead! Where did it go? Octonauts, let's investigate. Quasi, you go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, 
Oh, let me bandage that for you. Good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. The thief strikes again. But we're not giving up. The spyglass, the radar dish, and the bandages. Look! I don't see anything. On the rock. <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, he vanishes. Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. <laughs> now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. <laughs> Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! We found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Now, uh, oh! <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. Uh, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> The radar's fixed. Good work, Twig. Thanks, Cap. I made one other little change out here. Captain, 
There's... outside. I saw a... <gasps> What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak? If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Bye. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That scallywag must be around here somewhere. Oh. This way. A vast. Strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. <gasps> ah! Oh! <sighs> There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> Whoa. This is no reef. Whoa. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, 
Mushroom coral mucus. Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. To hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them! At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them! What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more and finished. Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Is the gut bee ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup beef faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. No! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gup. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, I, me hearty. Now open the octo hatch! If you don't turn off the engine first, the 
thought we will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite cup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the cup B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gup finder. It should show us where the gup B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi! Oh. Let's go, Shellington. Amazing! Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gut bee! Come back here! Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. 
Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, oh, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> uh, 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 he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah! Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish! Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No, he mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Now, oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. <laughs> The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? Psst. You! Yeah, you! <laughs> here, here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. <laughs> it's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gut bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gut. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Great, let's get started. Uh, I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington. We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. Oh, this one's very, very hot. Fascinating. 
I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. Steady, steady. Oh, this would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Uh, uh, ooh. The name's Frank. What's yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh! oh. But how? Aha! Uh -huh. Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My Uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sleep bags. Frank! The lava tube. Huh? What? Yeah. Time to sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, a teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh. Oh, no! It's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. These proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat. And the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was gonna collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, Wazi. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> These octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Hey, so, buddy! Over here! Frank, are you all right? We're here to... ...rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And Laverne. Hello. And, and that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure can. <laughs> no. But don't you little mateys get hot? 
I told you he was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashi. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Oh. Run for your lives! Oh. <laughs> Our little legs don't go so fast. Here! Hop on! Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence! Now that's a bit! Oh, nice day out! Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yeah. Lava! We have to hurry. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, Hazel. My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are. You just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. Just a little bit further. Look out! Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? Uh, yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never better. Wake me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks. We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. Your turn. <laughs> I can see the other side. <laughs> One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <laughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! Flappity flippers! Peso, hurry! Oh, are we going for a ride? Gotcha, Maisie! Uh, let's go! Octonauts, keep going! Made it! Hooray! It was a close one. Hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso, way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure is. You're me. even tougher than my uncle uh, Gary. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. That's our buddy. Say, ah. Uh... <laughs> Looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? <laughs> Two. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag! Oh no! I've got to find it! Ah! 
Aha! Uh -huh. hmm. Just a clan. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Uh, oh, hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken. <gasps> By a walrus? Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Open the octahatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Uh, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move well, on. Well, well, uh, 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 well, 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 well. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then... Splash! We all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts. Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Do you really think Tweak's costume will fool them? If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Uh, must be a new guy. <sighs> Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being good. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody, one, two, three... <gasps> Now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behavior. 
They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. That's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. <laughs> he wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful! Quasi, try to get back into position! Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my... Hey! 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 Intruders! Whoa! Run! Captain, come in! What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time! <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean, that strange white clam? That's it. My medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief. But that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? Oh no. His flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. If it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you can do anything for me? Hmm. One twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. Oh. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will, and you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? <laughs> 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 <laughs>